Okay, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Let's get playing. This this is the curse. Yes. And you guys can hear the game audio. It looks like I'm actually being a good streamer for once. Oh, what is this email? Okay. Let me let me let me do this survey really quick. Um Okay, there we go. Cool. <laughs> okay, let me get Twitch open on my phone, like a big brain. There we go. Now I can see Twitch on my phone. Uh, and we can start playing the game. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so I don't remember exactly what was happening last time. It's been a little bit, but I think we were just vibing. Do we have any job lists? Okay, looks like we were doing a job, maybe. I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We were going to go, um, we're looking, we're looking for Grovile now, aren't we? Um, yeah, we need to put some stuff away. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly I did not do that last time. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys are all doing well. We got the computer fixed. Um, it, the issue was my battery is dying. Uh, sort. So, the computer was like not giving... I want to store things. Was not giving my CPU enough juice, basically. So the CPU was like, hey, I'm not gonna work if you're not giving me voltage. And that was the issue. Uh, um, I think we are going to hold on to uh, one orb for right now. Cause you never know when I don't know if our partners get to come with us or not. I'm probably going to leave the defense scarf and the special band here because I'm not sure if they are. Um, is there anything we need? What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying, guys. Um, oh yeah, um, because we have possibility of running in to... Um, those those rooms that suck. Big brain energy I do not have today. Monster houses, that's what they're called. Let me just check our inventory. Yeah, that looks good. Hey bud, do you have anything for me to buy? Uh you know, ribbon, that's nice. That's very expensive though. Nothing. What about your brother? Do you have anything good? Uh, nope. Okay. Let's go drop off our money. And get ready to fight. Uh, the true question is, can I remember all of my voices from last time? Probably not. But I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, up this way. Over here. Now, I see everybody's, everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying, Grovile appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question, but we have no answer. And therefore, we have re relied on, upon the great dust noir for ideas. Together, we have identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudred and Corfish, I'm assigning you to the eastern forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it! Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, beat up Doug Trio and Sunfloor. You, we'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yep, yep, will do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Wendy and Chem, you two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map. Okay. See, this area. The area is on the map of obscured by clouds, but that 
dry terrain starts, ne or starts here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert expands from this point onward. We suspect that the time gear is hidden within the depths of the desert. That's why we'll be sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogink and I are staying behind at the guild, too. That work we do at the guild is important, too. Let's make sure we keep our keep up our good work. I yes! Now, let's find the time gears, everyone! Yoomta! Hooray! Okay, so we do have to- we do get to keep our team members with us. That's nice. The northern desert is not only wide and deep, it is raked by vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. Will do, thank you! Wendy, let's do our best! Okay. That's right, we have to go to the desert. Um... Which means we probably want to give our partners... We probably want to swap out Zap, because we're going to a desert. <laughs> um, probably want to bring along a water-type friend. Uh, and we want to bring more food. Uh, because this place is, is, is very annoying. I, I really don't like this dungeon, because I had a lot of trouble with it when I was younger. By the level, okay. Who? No, nobody's gonna be good. Let's just um, stick with the three that we have. Us, Shem, and Cory. Um, let's go get a couple more things from the bag. Hey, 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 Kangaskhan, I need some stuff. Obviously, I need to take this back. And I'm probably going to take a big apple and that many apples. I, I always had a lot of problem with hunger when I was going through this, so... I might be being overly cautious, but I would rather be overly cautious and underly cautious. Cory, take the defense scarf. And we're probably good. Let's go save and try to head out. Okay, over here. Save, save, continue. Save completed. Cool. Um, uh, let's go to the northern desert. Uh, so I'm thinking we'll stay live for quite a bit tonight. I don't. Ha I'm gonna go to bed at like nine, nine thirty, so we can probably stream till then. The northern desert is through here. The time gear really is here. Corval should show up here for sure. Let's do our best to find that time gear. I think I changed Shem's voice a little bit, but I think it's, it's close enough that it's not the biggest deal. And I do want to explore a little bit um, just to get all those good items. And it's been a while since we played. I miss this game. It was very sad when I could not play. But yeah, my bitrate had a com uh, my computer had a bitrate of like 0.34 or something. It was very bad, but it's working again, and that's all that matters. And I have a new battery in the mail. It's it's coming. That's right. I forgot how useful Corey is. I believe he's set to only use spore right now. Should I should probably change that? Yeah, you can use your other moves because spore is like very helpful for boss fights but other than that boss fights and like actually i suppose core core will be very good for um what, what are those rooms i keep forgetting what they're called monster houses core will be very good for those oh Okay. Very nicely done, Cory. Oh. That's the only issue with Cory, is they don't have a lot of health. Because they're not evolved. Um, which means we don't have any reviver seeds left for this dungeon, unfortunately. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Go and 
just away. Yeah. Money. Oh, we've just been having good luck with the stairs today. Ooh, iron thorns. I want those. Hi, Sandrew. Let's hit you with a rock. Do you ever just throw rocks at Pokemon? Very nice. Oh. Oh, that, that sleeping Vulpix sprite was very cute, though. Ah. Uh, I do miss it uh, in the newer games where they have it so that the traps break after you you trigger them once. I've been playing a little bit of Explore. Ooh, Cacnea. Yes, you can join us, Cacnea. Anybody have a nickname suggestion for Cacnea? I feel like Spike might be a good name. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's Cactus. Let's go with that. I. K. E. There we go. Yes, Spike is a good name. Ooh, level 25! Yes! That's very good. Ooh, and Spike is like level 22. That is super nice. Grass is a type that we need on this team. Okay. Let's keep going. Team. Nothing? Okay, let's, uh... Did, did you just kill yourself, Baltai? Okay. If you really want to do that way. Sometimes just have be. Oh, I see it true. Let's kill it. to fight, Cory. Let me see if I can change Cory's AI. Cory. IQ. Nothing I can do to stop them from trying to kill enemies, unfortunately. That is rather sad. I don't feel like dealing with that Marowak. Okay, let's head back. Go up the stairs. Proceed. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. I am doing pretty well. Myself. I'm I'm glad it's the end of the day. It's been a long day, guys. Ooh, level 19. God, Corey, you, you have such bad level ups. Uh, that's the only unfortunate thing about Corey, is they have absolutely terrible stats. can't evolve them till post game so yeah that's not very nice of you lavatar oh you want to join the team yes you're joining what should we name this lavatar um uh, any any thoughts in chat i'm bad at nicknames How about... Uh... Um... Lime. Cause you know, you know, he's green? Uh... M -E. There we go. The lime is okay, and honestly... I'm gonna send home Cory. Like, Cory is useful, but Cory is also very weak. Um. So. 
Bro. Bro. Get, get killed by these sticks. Ooh, and Shem's level 25 too. What do you want to learn, Shem? Swagger? What does that do in this game? No, you're not learning that. Forget. Yes, that is, that is fine. See, Shem has good level ups. Um, what's I gonna do? Items, defense scarf, we can give that to Lime. Cool, let's keep going. Yeah, we got like a pretty a pretty strong team going on here, some nice type diversity. Type diversity is something that's very nice to have in these games. Right, Stamstorm makes you take damage. I forgot about that. It's very annoying. Ooh, lots of items in this room. Very fancy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's down here? Nothing. So just to let you guys know, um, I'm not sure what the stream schedule is going to be like for the rest of this week slash next weekend or this weekend simply because final exam season, um, we have final exams next week. So I might stream every once in a while as like a nice break from studying, but I don't think that I'm going to like stream too much next week just because I have to make sure I'm studying. You know, studying is important. Larvitar, why did... Larvitar, you're not allowed to use Sandstorm. That's just against the rules. Literally only benefits you. Not the rest of the team. I do not appreciate the sandstorm. Although it's nice that it's not like every turn like it is in the main series games. Ninth floor. Tenth floor. And it's another sandstorm. How lovely. Next floor, please. Eleven floor. That's right, the dungeons do start to get longer at this point in the game. Okay, let's eat some foods. Consume an apple, Wendy. Okay. I I, I see you coming, bro. Can can cut can throw at you that way? It can. If it if it hits. <laughs> But that's just good to know that it has that range. Range moves are very nice in this game. Yeah. Oh, point here. Nice. When you can just like snipe people with your with your flame breath, that's very convenient. Unless it misses, then it's not convenient, but other than that, it's good. <sighs> I need to put on some. Uh, I'm cold. It is cold in my room. My room has this weird thing where if like, I turn on the heater, it gets way too hot. But if I don't have the heater on, it's just like st ever so too slightly. It's like too, too chilly. It's it's weird and kind of annoying. <laughs> okay. Let's smack you. Larvitar, you know moves besides Leer that you could be using. 
There you go. Gosh darn it. Uh, am I out of PP? I am. Just use dig for now, or not. Okay. Uh, over this way. Not appreciated, bro. Um, let's use dig one more time. Ha. You can't hit me when I'm underground. I'm sneaky like that, guys. Okay. Um, just get some health back really quick. Cool. Oh, that is a cacti. Cac turn. Oh, I don't even see the trap inch. Let's hit you with a flamethrower. Okay. Yeah. So we are on our way to finding another time gear. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. Progressing that plot. Nice. Oh, you want to join the team trap inch? You can join. Uh, let's name you, you Trappy. That that sounds like a cute nickname. Um. Okay. Uh, Trappant. Why don't you can you can take Lime's place. Slime isn't very good yet. Lime will be, uh, just not yet. Uh, okay. You know what? Once we get both of these fully evolved, we'll be very good. Yeah, unfortunately, we do have a pretty major ground ground type weakness on this team. Thank you, Shem. We do great against grass types, though. Just burn them. Ooh, silver spike. That's helpful. That's like the next tier above the iron spike. Um, and I'm, I'm just here still using my sticks. Okay. Cool. Um, let's... Item... Defense Scarf. Let's give this to Trappy. some money. Money is helpful. Let's go to the next floor. Proceed. Ooh, end of the end of the dungeon. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Watch out, it's quicksand! Sand's getting sucked down here and there. They like sand whirlpools when we pulled in if we get too close. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that remote looks like a time gear. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh? What's the matter, Wendy? This feeling... It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Maybe I only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell as which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, Wendy! What's the matter? You were off in your own thoughts there. Well, it seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home pushes me away from the sand. Wow. I am capable of walking, Shem. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, all right. Hey, hey, we went out there to the eastern forest, just like we were told, but hey, there's nothing real there but forest. 
<laughs> and for Crystal Cave, yep, yep, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help help myself to a crystal. Oh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Be doof. Our objective was find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective, but you had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. What do you? Who do you think you are? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for all of myself. That's all. Just no ours, sir. I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended in fruitlessly. Ah, this is vexing. I thought our search locations we chosen held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. My goodness, no. You mustn't blame yourself. Why? It was thanks to you that vast knowledge that we came with our plan, Death Noir. Nevertheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That is a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. We made, maybe we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up. Prepare for tomorrow. Understood. Consume. A dust order doesn't need to eat dinner with us. Wow. Okay. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Wendy. Okay. Good night. <sighs> the next morning. Excuse me. Up and at him. It's morning. Ah, uh, good morning, Wendy. Let's save and continue. Nice. Oh, look at that little trap bench sprite. That's cute. Ahem! And it brings us back to today. Presently, the great Dust Noir and I are working on a new strategy. While we develop this strategy, we ask you to search for the time figures on your own initiative. That is all. Alright, everyone, work hard in again today. Hooray. We're supposed to search on our own today, Wendy. Where should we go? I wonder. We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday when we were out there. This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I I know this place. Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that was the dead end for our search. Maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off in another daydream? What? You want to go back to the quicksand desert? We were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What? When we were at Quicksand Desert, you experienced the same sensation you had at Fogbound Lake? Well then, that's settled, Wendy. What you say must be true. Let's go together again. Back to Quicksand Desert. Cool, cool, cool. Back to the same place again. Um. Nice. Let's go take care of our inventory and then vibe over that way. Uh... Okay, dish away. Hello, Kangaskhan. Um, let's sort our inventory. Um, you put these and these. Sell the grimy food. Seed warp seed. Decoy orb, all hit orb, and hard box. Put those away. Okay, let's see if there's anything we can buy and then we can just sell that grimy food. Because grimy food is not good. It, it gives you like random status conditions. Uh, we could probably buy that revival seed actually. Uh, nope, I want to sell. Grimy food. Yes, one poke. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Oh, hey, how are you doing, Arcade Show? Good to see you. How's the vibe? Uh, we are currently doing some mystery dungeon. We are prepping to go explore the desert some more. So, hope you're doing well. Uh -huh. Yes, I would like to deposit some things. Let's store some money. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, back to streaming for right now. Um, my computer. Oh, it's very fun. We're about like maybe a third of the way into the game. Um, of like of, of like the main story before the post game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. 
Uh, we don't need Chimeko's bell. We want to save the game. Basically, um, our character, Wendy the Vulpix, was a human who got turned into a Pokemon. And this is her partner, Shem, um, the Shinx. And we are exploring these dungeons, and we're looking for these things called time gears, which control time, and a guy named Grovile is stealing them. It's fun. Let's see. Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. Just that white sand stretching out in front of us. And quicksand pits, obviously. Is there something more here? What kind of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place, I know it somehow. But looking out over this, I have to admit Shem is right. There really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. Aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait! Wait a second. There's only quicksand. That's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward. Or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, Wendy? What? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Uh, are you serious, Wendy? Are you seriously suggesting that we jump in? Okay. I trust you, Wendy. I have faith in you, Wendy. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far, Wendy. During our first exploration. Okay. I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and feel to leave through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm gonna do it, if I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. I put my faith in you that time too, Wendy. I was able to go on then because you helped me be more courageous, Wendy. My feelings haven't changed since then. So let's go for it. Let's jump into that quicksand pit, Wendy. This is a good idea. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go! Ah! Oh, looks like I was right. Ow, my backside! <laughs> oh, where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. You were right, Wendy! You were right! The secret swirled within the quicksand! Let's move it. It's time to get exploring, Wendy. Let's get, let our time gear search begin. Yes. So, yeah, this game is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I was saying, this is my first time uh, streaming in a couple days, because my computer, uh... I stream from a laptop, and the battery is deciding to die on me, so it like messed up my battery settings, so that it was my I had like a bit rate of 0.34. Oh yeah, it's very fun. Um, this is a very fun take on Pokemon. Uh, basically, we go through randomly generated dungeons. Um. And you just, you, you try to figure out the mystery of the world. Um, this is on the DS. There's, this is the second game in the series. And honestly, it's the best story-wise. Um, yeah, it, it's very fun. Um, every game you, you, you uh, it's, except for the third game in the series, you take a personality test to see uh, what Pokemon you are. And then uh, you play with that with you and your partner, and you, you do do the lore stuff. Um, yeah, it's fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to think. So the first game um, is either you can get it on the Game Boy Advanced or on the DS. The Game Boy Advanced version is Red Rescue Team, and the DS version of, is Blue Rescue Team. Um, this is uh, Explorers of Sky, which is like the definitive version of the third of the second game, which is either um, the first two versions were Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness. Uh, but Sky kind of combines them both, um, and actually lets you choose Vulpix and Shinx as your starters. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then on the 3DS, there's um, Gates to Infinity, which does not have a personality quiz. That's still a pretty good game. And then there's also Super Mystery Dungeon, which is, oh god, the most recent, like, new game in the series. Uh, they did remake the originals on the Switch. So, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Oh, we should, we should swap. Yeah. But, sometimes you just let your partners fight for you because you're almost dead. And you don't want to waste more Oran Berries. 
Yeah, this is a very fun game. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, but we were uh, we were talking about my computer, so. Oh no! Oh no! See, this dungeon is like a pretty like steep uptake in difficulty, especially. Uh... Ooh, 26. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Compared to the other two, it's a pretty. It goes pretty hard. Unfortunately, um, so we might have some issues getting through here. Oh, especially because you know I'm I'm a fire type. This is like a mostly ground and rock themed dungeon, so we're probably just gonna try to zoom through here as fast as we can. So yeah, yeah. Yes, but I got I got my laptop um, at least temporarily fixed. I have a new battery coming in the mail, um, so yeah. So what games have you been playing uh, lately, Arcade Show? I have not had a chance to stop by too many streams lately because I've been studying for finals. But I try to I try to lurk when I have the chance. Very nice. Oh, Hazel, what did you do? Ah, uh, she found a box, I see. Nice! Sham leveled up. Cool. Um, let's head down. Let's find... Where is the staircase for this level? That's the true question. Must be... Yeah. Oh, you want to join the team? Sure, you can join. Uh, any nickname ideas for this little scorpion scorpion friend of ours? Hmm. Huh. Uh, what's like a poison name? I guess. Um. Isn't. Uh, I don't know many poisons. Um. What is a good poison? Anthrax? Nah. Um. Oh, Bologna berries. Aren't they a poisonous? E uh -uh. Let's go with that. Nice. Um, let's... Let's send Bologna back, because Bologna is going to be weak to the Pokemon here. But that is... Very helpful. Oh, come on. Let's actually hit it. There we go. Let's vibe over this way. Um. There we go. Very nice. Um. Uh, yes. Way, a uh, way down. Hey, but when I was little and I was playing through the game for the first time. This was like, I was stuck on this dungeon for weeks because I just didn't bring enough food with me, so I kept starving and losing the game. Ooh, sand tomb. Nice. Very good. Ooh, and Spike leveled up too. Spike is very excited. Clearly. Um, let's go to the next floor. But yeah. What was it saying? I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm very bad at keeping a good train of thought, guys. I do want that money. Um, more money. Oh yeah, so I, I would just, I was stuck in this dungeon for a long time when I was a little kid. Actually, I've never like played the majority of the post game for this game. Apparently there's like a really big post game. Um, and I just never saw it as a kid because I didn't do the one thing that like starts the whole post game chain of quest lines. So. We'll see. I might try to play through those on my personal, my, my other copy of the game before we play it on stream so I know it's coming up. Um, or we could go in blind. I'm neutral either way. It's gonna be well before we get there, because before we do post-game, I want to do all the special episodes that are, um, in the game. 
which are it's like basically it's like extra lore where you get to play as other characters. Um, like you can, there's like a Bidoof one, and there there's one um, for some flora. I think there's like ten or twelve of them. I think, and they like just give you more unique lore. And I have not played most of them. Why why am I down? Why did I explore the whole level? Guys, it's just instinct for me to explore the whole level now. I keep forgetting that I'm trying to get through here fast. Okay, uh, let's actually leave. Or at least get to the next level. I'm just, um, knock on wood, happy we haven't run into a monster house yet, because I... Monster houses are so annoying. Um... So anybody who doesn't know, Monster House is basically like 20 enemies spawn and try to kill you at once. It's not fun. Um, not a good time. And they're, they're relatively rare, but the, um, there's like certain dungeons where you will have one. Um, and it's very likely that you can just like actually spawn into the level in that room. It's not very fun. Nice. So, yeah. I mean, luckily we do have, like, orbs that affect the whole room, but... It's- you don't always have those on you! Cause you're not always thinking, oh, what if I run into a monster house? Nice. Our team is so strong! Where is the egg that... Yeah. Um... I'm not entirely sure when. But relatively soon we're gonna have like a decently like fun plot twist coming up and I'm excited um, I'm very excited let's keep going yeah oh and anybody who's wondering up um, we cannot evolve yet. If you're wondering why we're level 26 and we're still our like first evolutions, um, your par no nobody can evolve until post game in this game, and you and your partner, so me, uh, Wendy, and Shem will not be able to evolve until we beat a good portion of the post game. In case anybody is wondering, um, honestly, for the main characters, I don't mind because I find that I get really attached to like how cute the like. Like the like the base forms of just like a little a little fox and her her cat friend going and just beating everybody up and saving the world <laughs> while being adorably small. I, I really like that. So it's not the the biggest deal for me, but uh, I do like their evolution. So I, I I definitely will evolve them. Uh, safeguard. What does that do? status problems that's not really useful I mean it's like useful but like not many Pokemon use status conditions off enough for it to be worth learning especially when we have a bunch of other very good moves Shem why are, why are you using electro type moves against a ground type what are you doing hon okay let's proceed I think this dungeon is like 16 levels long. 16 or 20. Something like that. Nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We get a halfway point. Um. Or we can save, so that's nice. Okay, let's keep going. Um, usually those halfway points indicate that there's a boss later on in the dungeon. I didn't think there was a boss here, but I could be wrong! <laughs> um, I mean, let's be honest, we have Imprison, which stops your enemy from moving, so we'll be fine if we fight a boss. I just didn't think there was one in this dungeon. Although it's, it's possible you do fight um, a certain Pokemon that I will not name for uh, reasons of spoilers. Um, who is at the end of this dungeon? But. Ugh, quicksand. I mean, um, sandstorm. That's not fun. 
Not much I can do about it, but it's not very fun. Um, all while. Hi. Let me hit you with a flamethrower. Or not. Let's try one more time. Nice. They were just so much damage. That is so nice. Ooh, what do you want to learn? Ingrain? No, that no. That's not worth it. I want you to be able to move. You have a decent level up though. Uh, nothing here. At least Trappy isn't gonna be taking any damage from the Oh, that's not good uh, from the words. I can't use words, guys. We know this from the sandstorm. Because they are a ground type. Okay, let's try to get down to the next floor. I don't... Oh, no. This isn't good. Oh, no. Um, what items do I have to use against you, buddy? Nothing. Okay, let's just dig. That way I can't get hit. I'm big brain. Ooh, Shen level 27. Nice. Very strong. Not dealing with that. Shem, kill it. Oh, you were cringing. No wonder you weren't killing it. Shep, you can kill it. I believe in you. Ooh, level 26. Nice. Ooh, you are not having a great level up. Because you are the pre-evolution Masuda legendary. That's just how it is sometimes, you know? Sometimes... Oh god, I need to eat a berry. Hornberry. I've, I've been trying not to use them because I probably won't pick up any on the floor, but... Let's go. Basement floor three. Oh, there's somebody coming. Um, let's throw an iron thorn. Oh, that does the same damage as a stick. A stick did more?! What is going on? <laughs> Hippopotas. I feel like there aren't enough hippo themed Pokemon. We have like Hippopotas and Hippowdon, and that's it. You know, both relatively underrated Pokemon, I think. I don't know, I've never used one. Um, I'm not the biggest ground type user, though. Like, ground types are useful, but they're not. Unless you're fighting electro types, they're not the greatest. Um, they're a good fi fire counter, though. Are, are, are you good? Are you just fighting the hippo potas through the wall? Oh, I guess you're just fighting it through the wall then. Good for you. Another hippo potas. Nice. See, grass types are so helpful. Um, grass types are very nice to have. Let's try to find that exit. We're just not having luck with it. Oh, there it is. It was in literally... No! No! Stop! 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 Just stop walking on the traps, guys. This isn't good. Cacnea is trying to fight a Tyranitar. Oh boy. We're just gonna leave. Um, yeah, we're just gonna leave and that'll bring everybody to me. And it's still sandstorming. I can see why I had trouble with this dungeon as a kid. This is very annoying. And long. And, and summoning any Pokemon to fight us. I do not like this dungeon. I mean, it makes sense uh, why it's hard if there's like a time gear here or something, but just annoying. But such is life. Not nearly as hard as the fourth game in the series, Super Mystery Dungeon. That game is really hard. 
Like, if this is like a 6 or 7 on the difficulty scale, that game's a solid 11. Especially when you get to like post game, it's like it goes so hard. Which is, you know, not something you expect from a Pokemon game. I like tried to beat that game like three or four separate times before I actually beat it because it just was so hard that I gave up. <laughs> Skaroopy, I already have a Skaroopy. I don't need you. Flamethrower. Yeah. I don't know. I think we probably are going to play the other um, Mystery Dames on this on Mr. Dungeon game on this channel. And it's just going to take us a while to get through this one because it's long. <laughs> Long is good though, this is a good game. Oh. Big. So what's everybody in chat up to? I mean obviously we're just here vibing in a dungeon with our little um quintet. I believe would be the correct term for four Pokemon. We're just g underground. We're just going down and yelling timber. We're not moving or dancing, though. Ha! Funny joke, right, guys? Okay. Cool. Over here. Nada. Okay. Ooh, money. So, the true question, is it Poke? I think it's Poke in this game. Like, that's what they call the money. I believe that is the canonical name. I believe they use the name Poke in a, lot, a lot. Unlike in the main series game, where it's like unclear if it's like Pokebox, Poke Dollars, or whatever. Ooh, no sandstorm on this floor. That's nice. That's very nice. I can actually restore health naturally. Oh, God. Naturally. <laughs> Quite a few items in this room, though. Let's see if we can grab them. Money, money, and money. Yeah, just, just a lot of money in this dungeon. I, ugh. Tyranitar, why did you have to ruin the one floor without a sandstorm by making there be a sandstorm? I don't appreciate that, Tyranitar. And I'm just gonna hit you with a flamethrower because I don't I don't wanna deal with you. So that wasn't very effective, was it? Because you're rock. No, you're dragon dark. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> and you're you know a pseudo legendary, cause that's just what you are. Or is it is it is it is it rock dark? I don't think Tyranitar is uh, a dragon type, actually, in the more I think about it. I'm pretty sure it is indeed not a dragon type, which is why they introduced Flygon as another pseudo legendary. Ooh. Okay, let me see if I can make this go faster. Come on. There we go. Trying to load my Twitch stream in the background was, is, was slowing down my computer there. Ooh, level 26, GG Spike. You and Trappy are like almost the same level as the main team, the main duo. Luminous Orb, that I believe shows you either where the, where the stairs are or like it lights up the whole map. Don't quite remember which. Oh, hello, Sand Boy, Sandy Boy, Sand Slash. He has a name. I just don't care. He is. Th these are all Sandy Boys. Oh God. Uh. Um. Oh no, the game crashed, guys. I guess we're gonna have to reload from our last save. Oh no, what a tragedy.
What a tragedy, guys. I don't know why that happened, but what what a tragedy. Let's try that one more time. Oh, that's not very nice. You knocked off my ribbon. I like my, my cobalt bow. Excuse me. Give to Wendy. It, it ups all my stats. I, I like it very much, in fact. Wow, what is, what, what, what was that luck? Three, four staircases in a row? Okay, yeah, I didn't think it would, it would last for five floors, but that was insane, that luck. Like I said, I just want to get through this dungeon. Oh, what, 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 what move was in grain? Yeah, we're not learning in grain. Oh, frick, I didn't... I didn't turn it back on the screen. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that that's fine. Yes, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I hadn't turned it back on the gameplay screen. Um... Okay, um... Shem, maybe focus on the Tyranitar. He seems like it might be the bigger issue here. Very good, Shem. You're getting very strong. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, so I guess you guys didn't see it. Um, but I managed to get four staircases in a row. I guess that's just my luck. Is That's very helpful. Making up our... Oh goodness, we're switching. Very good job, Gem. Ooh, trap is level 26. Nice, nice. Okay, let's keep going. Through the tunnels to try to find the exit. An exit would be very nice, you know? Don't you know? Exits are helpful. Especially when you want to leave places. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm, I'm out of practice from streaming. It's been like four days, okay? No! A monster house! Okay, um... Yes, run away! Basically, now all the enemies are gonna run! <laughs> Cause they have no choice but to run! sure how long this lasts, but it's very helpful. Yes, run away! Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, Petrify Orb. There we go. You guys aren't allowed to move now. See, big brain. I occasionally have it. Um, it's very rare, but I do occasionally have big brain. There we go, guys. We, we manage to survive the monster house. See how those are so scary? I don't like them. They're not very nice. Oh, money. Okay, 
Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Take a flamethrower. There we go. Yeah, you don't get to attack me, buddy. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's keep going. I just hope we don't run into another monster house, because we're, like, out of useful orbs for those now. So... Hey, the other unfortunate thing about monster houses is they tend to show up in rooms with staircases. I don't know if that's like a, a hard and fast rule, but they like to do that. And usually if there's like, what if you dummies on lying on the ground, that's a sign or like good items in a relatively small room that can be a sign that there's a monster house there. Um, you know, not always 100%, but... It's, it's, they're like good telltale signs to look out for. Just like the game company. Oh. Hello. Thank you, Shem. Okay. Okay, this way. Oh, oh, there's somebody coming. How about I hit you with a stick? Do you like it when I throw sticks at you? If you don't, maybe you shouldn't come any closer. I'll, I'll throw more sticks at you. Aggressive social distancing. Oh. Underground lake. This is... Fantastic! I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawling underground. Look! Something's glowing way over there! That light! I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it! I've got it now! It's the same kind of light that we saw at Fogbound Lake! That means that light could be coming from a time gear! We need to get a closer look at it, Wendy. It went dark! Wait! What? Who are you? Whoa, who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. Who are you? I'm Mess Spirit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. Protect the time gear? I won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready! Oh. We have to fight Mess Spirit, the second uh, Lake Guardian. Okay. Do we have anything good in here? Um. Not particularly. Okay, let's imprison because <laughs> I'm cheap. <laughs> Basically, Mess Spirit can't do anything now because it's imprisoned. It's, this is like the best way to cheese every boss fight, as I have learned. Um, and I'm not against using it, so. Uh, uh, but I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to steal the time your time gear, really? Don't lie to me. You excuse this telepathy to tell me what happened. I know the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What? You heard it from Yuxi? That was your doing, wasn't it? No! No, we didn't do it! But then who's responsible? That would probably be me. I don't remember his voice. Who are you? <gasps> Grovile! Th that's Grovile. I must apologize, but I will be taking that time gear. Wah! <gasps> Stand aside. I, I won't! I won't let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Uh, my spirit! You lost that fight. You sustained serious damage, so don't push it. You're not kidding by us! We won't let you take the time gear. Alright. Sorry for this. Oh, he's so fast! Forgive me. I have no quarrel with any of you. But I'm taking that time gear. I think every time. Oh, the time gear. That thief is taking it. Uh, I'm sorry. You see must have not been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. We have to get out of here. But why? That's why. It's not good. Whoa, what's happening? It's happening because the thief took the time gear. So this whole area, time will stop around all time will time will stop all around the underground lake. What? We don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry, run with all your might. Yeah. I think I've changed Grovile's voice every time we've talked to him. <laughs> so I don't remember his original voice. Uh yeah, let's save our adventure. The only option. Thank you for helping us with our criminal investigation. We have Miss Spirit safely under protection. Her safety. Oh, Miss Spirit's a girl. Oops. Her safely is assured. We are dedicating all resources to pursue a girl Zer, if you come across any information related to the case, please let us know. Zin, we must cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. Zin, zin, that is all. Now please excuse us. Zin. My, my, I'm absolutely astonished. So there's a lake deep under the northern desert. And that was not all. Time Gear is also down there. Yeah, but about the Time Gear. Grovile stole it. We failed to even slow down Grovile. And then that's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not true, by golly. You did your great work. Hey, hey, I think so too. Team Lightning can be really proud. But it's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling us what we should do next, right? Hey, hey, if we only had one tiny hint. I must agree. We will grow well strike next. We have no way of knowing. It's too bad the opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dust Noir, sir. There are some clues. One time gear was a fogbound lake guarded by Yuxi, correct? Another time gear was at the underground lake guarded by Mess Spirit. Oh, that reminds me. Mess Spirit told us something interesting. Mess Spirit knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Yuxi had already alerted her by tele telepathy. Incredible. Now that is really something. I should have known. There is an ancient legend. It is believed that Yuxi is the being of knowledge and that Mess Spirit is the being of emotion. But there are three Pokemon in total who represent the spiritual world and are said to keep the world in balance. But three? So besides Yuxi and Mess Spirit, is another Pokemon like them? Yes. The last of the trio is Azel, known as the being of willpower. Yuxi and Mess Spirit both guard guarded time gears, therefore Azel may likewise be protecting a time gear. Oh I see. We could look at Azel. We may find the time gear with the Pokemon. We may be able to have a chance of seeing that gr thief Grovile appear. That is correct. Those three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesphere, and Azel, all three are said to dwell at the lakes. It's a fact that both Yuxi and Mesphere were encountered at the lakes. Except I believe Azel will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep something in mind. Yuxi's lake was located high on a plateau. Mesphere's lake was hidden far beneath the desert. In both places, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where Azel lives, at least somewhere that we least expect it to be. I get it now! You're saying we shouldn't look for water in usual places! My, my, my! I commend you on your wisdom, Dust Noir, sir! I feel renowned in admiration for you! Thank you. It's really nothing. No, no, no! We too revere you! First, it was you, Dust Noir, sir, who directed us to the northern desert. Turned out that there was a time gear there, so, Dust Noir, sir, your insight was entirely correct! Oh, so maybe the other places we searched, the eastern forest and the crystal cave, those places could still be hiding their secrets from us! Ah, I have an idea. Be doof. Yep, yep. Was it me? What can I do for you? I have a request. The crystal you picked up from previously. May I borrow it briefly? My crystal? No, no siree. That's my present treasure. By golly. Of course. But rest assured, we won't take it away, or even or any of the sort. Now, Wendy, there's something I would like you to do, Wendy. Please touch Be doof's crystal. I should touch the crystal? If the secret remains hidden in Crystal Cave, Wendy touches the crystal. It may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I see, that's what this is about. Dimensional scream? What's that? It's a special ability that Wendy has. Sometimes when Wendy touches something, then Wendy has a vision of an event in the past or future that involves it. Oh my gosh, really? Hey, 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 that's really an ability like that? 
I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Wendy's ability. Please, may we? I need some water. Oh, okay. I can't refuse a reason like that. Uh, a crystal. Will it reveal? Touch the crystal. Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Wendy? Here it comes. The dizziness is starting. Uh, uh, now I'll take it. The time gear. No. No, you can't take it. Never. That was it. That was Gruel trying to steal time gear. There's also another Pokemon. Was it Azelf? Anyway, Crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, Wendy? Uh, just grab the vision. What? You saw Gorovile knock on a Pokemon, one that you'd never seen before, and then you tried to steal a time gear? Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling! How'd you get to see all that, by golly? My mighty hard for me to grasp. Hey, 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 Wendy! So this Pokemon you can recognize. Do you think it might be Azelf? I I have a question for you two, Wendy. Did you see the past, Wendy? Or was it in the future? Come to think of it, visions of the past, visions in the future. It's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future. Well then, since it's impossible to tell if the vision is the future or the past, then Wendy's vision may well be a past event. In that case, time of year may have already been stolen from there. Squawk! You're saying we might have already been too late? Everyone, please hold on. Yes, it's true that may have been a vision of a past event, but it could have been a vision of the future. If you would be so kind, could you remember what Miss Spirit said, Jem? When who informed Miss Spirit via telepathy that the time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say it was Yuxi? Ah. Huh. Don't lie to me. Yuxi uses telepathy to tell me what happened. I know the time gear from Falgrand Lake was stolen. Yes, there's no mistake, but the name Azelf. I've never heard it before. The name Azelf is new to me. I only heard today from you, Dust Noir, sir. Well, then there's still a chance. If Miss Spirit claimed that Azelf had, our, had alerted her to the stolen time gear, then Wendy's dimensional scream would surely be from the past. But that was not the case. Miss Spirit did not mention Azelf. Therefore, it's possible that the event happened in the future. I see. One more point. This is a sure thing. On touching the crystal, Wendy experienced the dimensional scream. The vision indicates the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in the crystal cave. Perhaps there is a passage that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe it is there. Of course, we may already be too late, or we may still have some time. As long as the chance remains, we must never get up. It's our only option. Hey, 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 absolutely. There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thing, Dust Noir, sir. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go, everyone. Let's go search Crystal Cave. Dust Noir, sir. There's only one thing to do, and that's to explore Crystal Cave. Let's go. The whole guild will be involved. Our onward to Crystal Cave. Guildmaster, please issue the call to duty. Guildmaster? Hmm? Guildmaster? Guildmaster, are you with us? Uh, huh? Z hey, you gotta be kidding! No, it looks like... He's fully asleep with his eyes wide open too! Ew! Eep! Guildmaster is so very charming! Uh, what are you supposed to be doing snoozing? You think he maybe he's been asleep from the get-go? Oh no, this just won't do! Everyone might notice that the Guildmaster is sleeping! I must rouse him somehow! Guildmaster! Guildmaster! Uh, huh? Guildmaster! Chat! Yes, Guildmaster! Or, I mean, yes, Guildmaster? Uh, to take her from the top, there was... Everyone, we're going after Grovile! Yoom-ta! Hooray. Let's go to Crystal Cave. Hey, hey, there should be a secret there somewhere. Let's go down to business and start our search. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Hooray. Cool. Um... Let's get going too, Wendy. We're on to Crystal Cave. I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna wrap up the stream for tonight. My voice is getting rather tired. 
going to be going for like a little over an hour. Um, let's save our to top menu. Okay, save completed. Uh, let me see if I can find somebody for us to raid. Um, uh, raid channels. Why don't you guys go raid Supernova? Look like they're playing some Destiny. I would assume it's that new Witch Queen update that came out. Uh, have a nice time over there, guys. And I will see you there.